Good morning, third graders. Happy Friday. It is May 1st. I can't believe we're in May. Um, today's lesson is 26.3. In your hard books, if you're following along, you are on page 566. Sorry about that. And today we're going to be dividing with money. And dividing with money, you got to think back to when we did multiplication and we started uh, multiplying um, bigger digits and then we started multiplying with money and the only difference was the decimal point and it's the same thing with division division um, is going to be the, the work that you're doing the steps that you're going to take are going to be exactly the same you're just adding a decimal point so I'm going to go ahead and show you a few examples of that but let's go over today's objective and the objective is to divide amounts of money in decimal notation it says you can use what you know about dividing whole numbers to divide money amounts Eddie, Bobby, Lori, and Joe have $5.88 to buy snacks at the fall festival. They want to share the money equally. How much will each friend receive? And as you see, they have the decimal set up at $5.88 divided by four. Sorry, I didn't have my mouse. And so what you're going to see in the first step is they set up their problem. Let me bring this up. They set up the problem $5.88 divided by 4. And they're just going to do the division. They're going to pretend like the decimal point and the money sign isn't even there. They just want you dividing everything like you normally would. So they have 4 that goes into 5 one time. 1 times 4 is 4 with the subtraction. Step 2 is that they brought the eight down and now they're saying four goes into 18 four times. Four times four is 16 with two. They're moving on to their next step. Let me bring this up. Next step is how many times will four go into 28? Four goes into 28 seven times. Four times seven, four times seven is 28 with no remainder. So your problem Looks done, you did the division, but now here's the extra step. All you have to do now is bring the decimal point up exactly where it was. You don't shift it at all. It comes up directly. It says the decimal point separates the dollars and the cents. So you line the decimal straight up there and give it its money sign. And your answer should be $1.47. So like I said, not too different than the normal division that you're doing. You're just going to add your decimal point and your money sign at the end. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple example problems from your guided practice pages. So we're first going to do number two. We're going to say three gets divided into three one time. One times three is three. Don't forget our steps. We're going to bring down our two. But here is something we haven't encountered yet. Well, can three be divided into two? No, it can't. So you're going to put a zero up here. Now, some people will still like to work out the problems. They'll stay and say zero times three is zero. And they'll still bring down their two. You can still continue with the steps if you'd like. Some people will just bring down the seven. Either way, you're going to end up with 27. But you cannot forget to put your zero up here. That's why I like to do the step. So the next thing we have to look at is how many times can three go into 27? It can go nine times. And nine times three is 27. No remainder. Your problem is done. Now you're going to bring your decimal point up. And you always want to make sure, because I know sometimes problems shift and numbers shift when we're writing. Bring your decimal point up. And now if you did that and for some reason you have three numbers after that, you didn't bring your decimal point up to the right spot. Because you should only have two numbers after decimal point. When you think of pennies, you go up to 99 cents. That's the highest you can go before then you need to turn it into a dollar. So there should not be more than two digits after your decimal point. There's not here decimal point your dollar sign and you have one dollar and nine cents if you don't put your decimal point you don't put your money sign it's going to look like 109 it's an incorrect answer so you've got to make sure that you're putting your money sign in your decimal point all right we're going to go ahead and look at number four in your guided practice and we're going to first look at can two go into zero no it cannot now you can either do the step where you go zero times two is zero 
or you just go to the next number like I'm going to and you say how many times can 2 go into 10 both numbers 2 can go into 10 5 times and 5 times 2 is 10 we're going to subtract get 0 bring your 2 down 2 goes into 2 one time 1 times 2 is 2 bring down your 0 now bring down your 6 and 2 can be divided into 6 3 times 3 times 2 is 6 and I get 0 so I know that this part of my problem is done now I'm going to go ahead and look up I can bring my decimal point up I know it's correct because there's only two numbers after and I should have five dollars and thirteen cents now you don't have to put the zero there you can just put and you can leave this blank I put the zero up there and I go through the process of this so that my numbers line up right because if I would have put the five here and then the one here and I just brought decimal point I'd be off so I like to put my zeros there there just to hold that place value so you need to um, decide if that's what you're comfortable with, if you want to put the zero there, if you don't, but just always remember the rule that there should only be two numbers after the decimal point and then you'll be okay. The next thing we're going to go ahead and look at is we're going to go look at your math work for today. And your paper should look like this. I love that they gave you the model of the example up top. They divided three into $6.48. They went through the division steps one at a time. They first did three goes into six two times and subtracted. Then they brought down the four. Three goes into four one time. They had one left over, and now they're going to bring down the eight, and they have 18. Three can go into 18 six times, and they got an answer of $2.16. You're going to go ahead and work. You only have four money division problems today so i'm not going to work any of those for you um, i did the guided practice with you i want you to go ahead and work those four problems down here is the graphing for spiral review it just wants you to read the graph it says how many times did she spin each color go up on your graph chart see where red went red was spun four times how many times was six how many times was yellow green brown and you're going to go ahead and list those and then make sure you do the six word problems on the back. If you have any questions, again, email your teachers. Um, there is no IXL practice today, but we do want you to practice your multiplication facts. So you can either do that by doing a multiplication test, one of the karate belt tests from the web website I showed you, the mathdrills.com, or you could do multiplication.com, you can do um, GG Fluency, which practices your multiplication facts, or if you have multiplication uh, flashcards you can practice those as well and we'd like you to practice that for about 10 minutes all right guys I hope you have a great Friday and an awesome weekend bye guys